Hey folks, so today I'm going to be talking a little bit about some news that has been circulating around the open source world, and that is Mozilla Firefox's plans to retire support for RSS feeds. So this means that they're going to be uh, getting rid of their RSS feed reader and live bookmarks support. And this is going to affect either Firefox 63 or Firefox 64 onwards, which should be out October or December this year, this year of course being 2018. So I'm a big fan of RSS as anyone who has been subscribed to this channel for any length of time will let you, let you know. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I use it uh, to get a collection from my news sources. I get it, uh, I, I use it to keep up to date with websites that I like to follow. I use it for a podcast. I use it for a whole host of things. And that's not even talking about the applications on uh, on a more programming level or you know on a more system level where you use RSS feeds uh, as a way of, you know, you can use them for cross posting, for example. So if your website has an update, then it can take then a, an, a cross poster, like if this, then that, for example, which you can find at ifttt.com. Uh, you can then post something from an RSS feed and then have it post across to something like Twitter or Facebook or both. And um, and yeah, so there's, there's there's a sort of under the hood practical level to RSS as well. So um, I. There was when I, I I read this and when I found out about the news and when people I know started talking about it, the response was pretty unanimous in that nobody I know uses Firefox's RSS feed reader or live bookmarks. I do, but I am the only person I know. So this is going to be an interesting perspective for a video because. I will miss this. And the reason that I quite like the Firefox Live bookmarks is that it's a great way to uh, see if a website that doesn't post very often has posted. And it's also great for podcasts. And the reason I use it for podcasts is because, um, for example, if I um, am looking forward to the Ubuntu podcast, and if you guys uh, are not aware of what the Ubuntu podcast is, it's probably my favorite podcast, even when I don't happen to have a machine running Ubuntu. Um, and uh, yeah, well, I won't say any more than that, but it's definitely worth checking out. And if I can remember, I'll put a link to it down in the description, um, of course. But I like using the RSS Live bookmarks for podcasts because if, for example, the Ubuntu podcast releases at some point on a Thursday, but it might not necessarily be a specific time, I can then just be working away in, in, in Firefox and then I can just click a little uh, drop down menu to see if the latest Ubuntu podcast has been uh, uploaded yet. So I use it for things like that. It's just a nice little uh, addition to my workflow. It's not going to uh, diminish my uh, digital experience too much, but uh, yeah, I, I'm the only person I know who use it. Um, so I'm going to try and step away from my, you know, my personal loss in all of this because I'll, I'll survive. I'll survive. Uh, I have uh, various RSS readers that I use anyway, so it's it's not even really a minor disruption to my workflow. And I kind of saw this coming, and I think many of us did, because, of course, Mozilla bought out Pocket, which is a kind of bookmarking service crossed with a social network, because that's what we want for some reason. Um, uh, so maybe there's some sort of, like, movement towards... Uh, getting users onto online services. And this kind of makes um, a fair amount of sense with, with the direction that Mozilla seem to be going. Now, they seem to be in a bit of a frantic state right about now because uh, it, on one hand, there is a development side and on the other hand, there's like a marketing kind of PR side. And the marketing PR side is really, to be honest, it's letting us down. It's redesigning the logo when what we want is, um, you know, under the hood improvements, really. And it seems that, uh, I don't know, it's uh, like thinking of, of, of Mozilla Firefox as one uh, amorphous blob is probably not really that useful because there's a marketing department and there's a development department and the two will probably not talk to each other that very much, I imagine. So, um, but it does seem that... Mozilla is, is moving towards online services as part of their strategy. And uh, I think it was on one of Brian Lunduk's videos where he said that even though Mozilla's Firefox's share is at an all-time low, they're making more money than they ever have, which I think sort of indicates that they kind of want to put people onto these, these live services um, and, and 
score all these good search engine deals and so forth because that's their driving uh, revenue force which you really would expect better from for a for a not for a non-profit you know to to not be as profit driven perhaps um so i um yeah it's 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 a problem from from that regard it seems anyway like i say that's only a hunch because it does say here that uh, rss feeds are a significant amount of work to support considering that very few people actually use them that i can actually genuinely sympathize with because again if you're uh spending a significant amount of resources for a very small segment of your user base then uh then you've got to make a call at some point haven't you so uh and and uh, you know I, I was well savvy to the fact that people do not tend to use the rss features of mozilla um, but it's these little quirks that actually sort of make me really like Firefox more than Chrome. I quite like the reader mode as well. So I wonder when that will be taken away from us. So, yeah, um, I will be moving back into... Uh, I, well, that, that being said, it wasn't like I entirely used Firefox for my RSS feeds anyway. Uh, there are three applications that I have been playing around with a lot recently. There's my usual RSS guard, which is particularly good. It's on the uh, it's a QT application, but is available as an app image. So that's worth picking up, and it runs really quite nicely as an app image. I also use Aggregator, which is the KDE default one, and that's also really quite good. And if I'm on a GTK-based desktop, I use Leferia. So that's three pretty decent RSS feeds, uh, RSS desktop clients uh, that I can I can go to. Um, and yeah, I just I tend to still go with the GTK for GTK desktops and Qt for Qt desktops. Uh, but the app image of R uh, RSS Guard works just as well on one desktop to another. Um, but the reason why I'm really disappointed in this is because RSS is fantastic. Like to, to, I can imagine many people consider RSS to be the perfect social network, a feed of items uh, from chosen sources where you don't have to worry about uh, people starting fights or downvoting stuff or shadow banning or all that kind of stuff. No, RSS is at the complete control or at least at the majority control of the end user, obviously there is some input from the uh, from the, the publisher's end. But for the, for the uh, as much of the workflow as is practical, RSS feeds are an end user affair. Uh, you can choose whether or not you use a desktop client or you use an online service, uh, or you can choose whether or not you want to even use them in an under the hood capacity for cross posting. So why I am disappointed is because uh, this is just a step backwards from RSS. And I don't think we should be looking in that direction, at least of all, uh, a company that promotes free and open source values. And I think that it's just shying away from a protocol, from a, from a tool uh, that is incredibly powerful and incredibly useful. And I think that, to be honest, you can attribute its low, uh, its low user share down to the fact that it's not a prominent feature, like it's not advertised, it's not part of the intro screen. Heck, if you want to put the subscription button onto the taskbar, you then have to actually configure it yourself, which is not an intuitive thing to do. So to even use the RSS features, it's not intuitive. Like they have great RSS features, but they're not very, uh, they're not very user friendly to people who are not familiar with those tools. So they could have implemented them a little bit better, but maybe they weren't incentivized to because they perhaps wanted to lean on, on some of their uh, more profitable services or, or, or whatever. Those are just my thoughts on it. Um, I can't say I was ever a big fan of Pocket and I don't even know what Mozilla are trying to do with it. I don't know whether or not they're hoping to turn a profit with it or or, or, or what, I don't know. So yeah, a uh, little bit disappointed that they're dropping support for RSS feeds, but many of us did see it coming and um, and it's not going to hugely impact our workflow. And, and yeah, it is a, an issue of, of responsible use of resources in that, you know, if it takes a lot of resources to develop, but only a few people are using it, then uh, then yeah, it's, you know, then, then, then you have to call into question uh, whether or not you want to continue maintaining it. However, when you're if effectively hiding that feature from the uh you know from the usual end user then it is going to have a low use share so i don't know uh i don't know uh, what they expected there but i will miss it although of course rss 
will always live on. As long as sites like WordPress or Wix or Squarespace or, or, or whatever continue to support RSS, then I suspect, you know, most of the web will and I suspect RSS will... Um, will continue to live on. And it's that's the beauty of completely decentralized um, tools like RSS, is that it, there isn't a company like Google that can kill it. I know a lot of people thought that the death of Google Reader would be the end of RSS, but because of the nature of it as a protocol, it ain't happening. If you want to use RSS, you can use RSS. So... Uh, those are my thoughts. Thank you very much for hearing me out. Let me know yours down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.